Hey, this is Monty with Build Brothers here at 3626 and Race Drive here in La Mesa doing a digital uh, roof inspection for the homeowner um, who has reported two leaks. Um, this house was built in 1971, um, but has been updated since. And you can tell it has been updated in the past because of the metal drip edge. Um, but what we're looking at here on the majority of the roof, if not every plane, is a overlay. So that means there is more than one layer of shingle on here. I believe it's two layers of shingle. You can see the old shingles underneath here. Um, yeah, a couple things I wanted to point out, just a handful of uh, vulnerable areas um, because of these, you know, little corners um, that, you know, are kind of weird looking. So underneath the eave here, um, we do see evidence of a little bit of wood rot. Um, just as far as the quality goes with the uh, with the wood throughout the entirety of the house, um, it looks to be original. So that is from the 70s, very old. Um, right here, we can see you know noticeable gaps. Those are just leaks waiting to happen, um, getting uh, where the where the wall meets the roof. Um, so you can see a little gap right here, and again a little bit of wood rot right here. Um, going up to here, and you can see uh, that a repair has been um, attempted on this portion, and then right here, and then we have a little valley um, right here where this plane meets the wall on the stucco, and it's a little torch down section. Um, something I wanted to point out is that this portion is completely loose. So anytime rain collects on this flat portion, it's gonna go up underneath um, these flaps. Um, and that is a very vulnerable spot um, for rain to get into. And again, um, lifting these up, I'm barely putting any pressure um, when lifting these up. Uh, so that means when the uh, wind comes from a storm that is lifting these up with ease around the skylight right here. Um, so definitely a vulnerable spot. Um, but yeah, there are multiple planes on here. So let's move on to the second level. Um, so what we're looking at is a flat torch down section. It has a solar um, installation on here. And something that popped out to me because this is a vulnerable area that we always like to check on torch down is the corners um, where, the, where the edge meets the drip edge on the metal. Um, and we can see that this corner is coming up quite a bit. Um, and that's uh, just another opportunity for rain to get underneath there. I mean, obviously my finger can fit under there. So uh, rain is gonna have no problem getting under there. Um, and this is where the first area of the leak is happening. This is going into the front office on the second story. Um, for torch down, we always like to see a quarter to a half inch of bleed out. We see a little bit of bleed out um, on this portion and the solar appears to be installed correctly. Um, so my guess as to what is causing the leak on this portion, it could be that little corner right there, um, or it could be, uh, you know, just loose, loose shingle um, portions on here. You can see I'm able to lift that up and wind can easily lift this up as well, um, allowing that rain to get in there. Moving on. Uh, again, just over time, this happens with age. Um, we see a little bit of granule loss. Um, the reason for this, um, when we see that fiberglass starting to show through, over time the oils begin to uh, evaporate just from the sun and those granules start to uh, deplete and fall off and that allows that fiberglass to show through. That's that shiny portion that you see right here. Um, and then we see a little bit of another repair area here on the ridge cap. Um, you see mastic has been applied or excuse me, tar um, on this portion. And then it looks like uh, a couple more uh, portions where tar was applied on this part um, and again this is completely flapping um, and anytime a wind uh, or from a, a storm hits this it's gonna flap up and then it's gonna hit that exposed nail head so another opportunity for water to get up and under there see another torch down uh, repair section and this is where the owner is having that second leak it's going into the second uh, bedroom um, and my guess it would be this gap right here around the skylight um, and there is the same thing for the other skylight I'll touch on that in a second um, but yeah we see a noticeable gap 
um, between the torch down and the metal around the skylight. And see right here, we have another gap. And we have a few more over here. And then going over to this portion, again, noticeable gaps right here, right here, um, and underneath here as well. Um, and then looking at the chimney, uh, normally we like to see step flashing and counter flashing going around the chimney, but there is no metal flashing whatsoever. Uh, there's actually just mastic that was appear, uh, that was smeared on that portion, and as well as the wall um, on the perimeter of the house. There is no uh, roof to wall flashing on um, any portion. And um, yeah, this greatly affects uh, the waterproofing capability of this roofing system. Um, so yeah, uh, I will get this out to the homeowner and um, that ends my inspection video. Thank you.